Hey, are you available, Mama? Any time for you. The first time I met Mario, a.k.a. Dud, um, that's what I call him, was, I can see it vividly, we were in a hallway, we were testing for the show. It was like the final callback. And you sort of hang out there with the other actors waiting to, to get called in to, to read, that's what they say, right? To go audition for the scene. Um, and she was very personable, very nice. And We both had our sides, which is a portion of the script that we were holding and we said hello. We were all super focused, obviously, because we wanted the role. And uh, we just kind of hit it off right away, obviously not knowing that we were both gonna be cast. But I do remember the hello. You know that expression, you had me at hello? Well, I think we had each other at hello. <laughs> Screech, she's not your fox. Why don't you just find another chick? Whoa, may I remind you both that we are girls. We are not foxes, not chicks, nor any other cute little animal you boys like. Do you understand? Sure, kitten. <laughs> so I have very, very vivid memories of us organizing our stuff and setting up our schoolroom. We all shared one big room, six long tables for each of us that were our desks, and we had two tutors. We were all real teenagers playing teenagers, which was kind of a rare thing. We actually were in high school while we were playing high school kids. So every rite of passage our characters were going through, we were going through too. We had to do three hours a day of school, and that was in between doing rehearsal on set and running back to the schoolroom. So you could be in the middle of a French lesson and suddenly they call you to go do that scene. Okay, Miss Simpson, I'll do it. It, it was a lot of fun. Screech. A lot of the hijinks happened in that pseudo schoolroom, I have to say. I didn't mean silly in a bad way. There are different kinds of silly. There's good silly and bad silly and silly silly. And what I really meant to say was, shut up, Jesse. <laughs> I never thought about Saved by the Bell being a huge hit because it was a Saturday morning show. We were going up against like cartoons and Bugs Bunny was a big competition. I just thought, okay, it's a kid's show. This is fun to do for a while. I didn't think it'd ever really be popular outside of little kids. When it went into syndication, then it kind of took a whole nother life of its own. And um, at that point, I was just tripping out that a lot of people were watching it of all ages. I was like, really? Whoa, how come? Well, I think the marker was just, you kept getting picked up. And so that felt good. But remember, there wasn't social media back then. So there was a certain amount of awareness that we had, but then there was, there was a whole other world that we didn't know until we started to do signings like in malls and things like that. And when we saw people screaming and clamoring to, to meet us or wait in line, this is so old school, but like at a, literally at a mall tour or signings, that was the moment we really realized because without Instagram or other social media, it was hard to kind of measure that, except for the fact that we, in success, kept getting more episodes. The dynamic between um, Slater and Jesse was a lot of fun and really on television at that time, you didn't really see a feminist character, especially a 15 or 16 year old feminist character who was finding her power and using her voice for the greater good. What's wrong with it, Mrs. Slater? Mrs. Slater, if I really married you, I wouldn't use your last name. Well, whose last name would you use? Mine. <laughs> this chick's crazy. <laughs> I bet you want me to have the kids too. <laughs> you think you have the stomach for it? <laughs> I think people really got a kick out of the two of us and our banter. It was something that was unique, maybe that you saw more with adults. There was always love there embedded in the DNA of that relationship, but it was fun to kind of take a shot. You know, Jesse would nail him and for being such a sexist pig. And, you know, people would come up to us and just say, oink, oink, baby, or any of the taglines, mama, papa. How was your sleepover? Did you wear your jammies with the widow footsie wootsies? <laughs> Don't start with me, mama. It's too early. Okay, we begin with a romantic dinner at Cafe Diane, and then on to the ballet. Ballet? Come on, Jesse, get real. You know how hard it was for me to get these LA Raider tickets? Football? There's nothing romantic about a bunch of barbarians kicking each other's butts. Oh yeah? 
Well, what's romantic about a guy in pink tights tippy-toeing around pretending to be a swan? You know, I should have known better than to go steady with a sexist pig. Well, oink, oink, baby, and if you don't like it, go steady with some other pig. Even now on Instagram, they, they say their favorite names, so we like to throw it in once in a while just so people, you know, feel that, that comfort, but I think they're really gonna love this season. That's all I'm gonna say. Very tempting. <laughs> don't even think about it. Of course, you're a girl, so it's not like you could hit it anyway. <laughs> You know what I like about you, Jesse? You throw just like a girl. Hey, why don't you just hire a man to do it? I hope pigs can swim. <laughs> and hey, don't ever apologize for being angry. Excuse me, I don't need your permission to feel my own feelings, you sexist pig. I'm going, baby. There had been other versions of a reboot that um, we were looking at at NBC, and when it finally became official, it was a bit surreal, and I was really happy Tracy Woodfield was involved and was going to be our showrunner. I was a huge fan, and she's she's awesome and and um, so talented, and, and and she was a fan of the show, which made it even better. And um, I was excited with with uh, the team involved and and launching on Peacock and being a brand new platform, I thought was pretty cool. I was really excited, especially when I heard who they had decided on as the writer and also as a producer being involved in that capacity was really exciting to me because, you know, from for us, for the original actors, you know, it we know what it has meant personally in the culture and kind of the, the legacy of this in pop culture and you know what it means to people. I mean, it's a very, it, it's heartfelt. This is a part of people's childhoods. And so we felt protective, but also excited. I was really, dare I say, excited. I'm so excited! You can catch more Slater and Jesse moments on the new season of Saved by the Bell streaming right now on Peacock.